The Mercedes-Benz E-Class has long been the sedan of choice for business professionals, lawyers, doctors, and well, many wealthy people. The E-Class has also been the best-selling mid-size luxury sedan for many years now, as many people flock to this vehicle because of its prestige and elegant nature. For 2017, one of Mercedes' most important vehicles sees a full redesign and looks to boast enhancements to safety, technology, and quality. So let's go ahead and check out and take a closer look at this 2017 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Now the E-Class's styling still retains a sophisticated character that's more sleeker and curvy than the car it replaces. However, the E-Class has always distinguished itself from the S and C-Class, but Mercedes decided to make the E-Class look more in line with those vehicles, and you can really see that with the front and rear fascia of the vehicle, but it also has a very similar silhouette to its smaller brother, the C-Class. It especially looks beautiful with the LED daytime running lights and these optional 19-inch AMG wheels. Now here goes the key fob design for the E-Class. Now as you can see, Mercedes finally redesigned its key fob and I love the new key fob design. It's high quality looking and very stylish. You have your lock and unlock and then you have your panic button and you can press this button for your remote trunk release. This color is known as the Lunar Blue Metallic also comes with smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. And when you lock the vehicle, the mirrors will fold in. When you unlock it, the mirrors will fold out. And it comes with the nut brown slash black MB Tex leatherette interior. Now Mercedes does a pretty good job at imitating real leather. And you have your power driver's seat controls with power recline, power adjustable headrest, and a power thigh extension. All right, now stepping on inside of the E-Class here, it's a very relaxing place to be. And as you can see, it just oozes quality. And I really love the natural grain brown ashwood trim that runs throughout the whole entire cabin just gives it a much more opulent feel but this is a beautiful interior design and I really love the nut brown leatherette seats that we have but in terms of interior styling it also is a mix-up between the S class and the C class which is not necessarily a bad thing it's a really good looking interior now you do have push button ignition of course which just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start And what you're hearing there is a 2 liter turbocharged inline 4 cylinder. Full leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, we have a 9 speed automatic transmission. And Mercedes likes to call it their G Tronic. And in typical Mercedes fashion, we do have a column mounted shifter. You go down for drive like this, up for reverse. When you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. You can also change the different views of the camera. You have a wide angle view. They have your normal view. And then you also do have parking pilot. So this vehicle can basically parallel and perpendicular park itself, which is pretty cool. And if you want to activate park pilot, you have to press on this button right here. And you can just go push for park. Easy as that. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the vehicle. All windows are fully automatic in the E-Class, of course. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators, and you also do have blind spot detection. Now with this new E-Class here, Mercedes really wanted to focus on safety. There's a plethora of high-end safety technologies that you could choose from. And aside from the typical blind spot detection and lane keep assist, you could go for the drive pilot system. And basically, this vehicle can drive itself, which Mercedes claims, up to a certain speed limit. 
Now, this vehicle also takes it a notch further when it comes to autonomous driving. It can lane change itself and it can also detect speed limits. You have LED headlights with LED daytime running lights and LED turn signal indicators. Beautiful looking vehicle. Very elegant without it being overdone. Now this is the only engine option that's available at launch. In the future there will be other engines available. But this is a good powertrain here. It's a two liter turbocharged four cylinder that Mercedes likes to use on a lot of their vehicles. Produces 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque with EPA estimates being a very healthy 22 in the city and 30 on the highway. You can also go for all-wheel drive. But overall, this powertrain produces a pretty good amount of power and it's reasonably fuel efficient. Competitors of the E-Class, of course, you have the vehicles in the mid-size luxury sedan class. This includes the likes of the BMW 5 Series, Audi A6, and the Cadillac CT6, and the Lexus GS. Pricing of the vehicle is a little cheaper this time around. It starts at $52,150. And if you want to go for the all-wheel drive system, you're looking at $54,650. And this is for the E300 models only with the 2-liter turbocharged four-cylinder. Now, when I first looked at this vehicle on the internet, I thought it was too plain looking and too simple. But however, looking at it in person, it's much better. I really do love the styling of the new E-Class here. Coming to the rear of the vehicle, you have the S-Class styled LED taillights with LED turn signal indicators and rear reflectors. Rear parking sensors and we do have dual exhaust tips. EPA estimates, like I said, are 22 city, 30 highway. Total vehicle price for our particular model is $63,935. Which is not bad considering how much you get out of this vehicle. Of course, you have all of your basic power necessities, power windows, power mirrors, and they do power fold, of course. Power door locks as well. Memory seat settings for three people. Interior quality in the E-Class is top-notch, of course. It has that German solidity. Nothing really feels cheap inside of this vehicle. It has very expensive feeling materials. It feels rich and premium. Lots of soft touch materials going on here throughout the whole entire cabin. You also do have nice stitching everywhere too. This is a very impressive interior and is certainly one of the best interiors in the mid-size luxury sedan class. Coming to the steering wheel, love the new three-spoke steering wheel design from Mercedes here. And this is a little different here. Um, you do have touch sensitive buttons for the driver information center. And then you also do that, have that for the command interface. You also do have steering wheel mounted audio controls, all the typical stuff, Bluetooth phone controls, voice recognition. And the steering wheel does tilt and telescope. And it is powered. Up here, Auto dimming rear view mirror, sunglass container, SOS safety connect, and you have your map lights, of course. Panoramic sunroof, gives the cabin a much more open, airy feeling. Very nice. The seats in the new E-Class are also very comfortable, remind me of the new S-Class. And they're very soft, very plush, and they provide a good amount of side bolstering. They also do have a massage function, and thigh support is also excellent too with the power thigh extension. Can't complain on that. Overall, 
very comfortable and I would certainly take this vehicle on a road trip. Now it certainly does feel roomier inside of this new E-Class here with an additional 2.6 inches between the front and the rear wheels of the vehicle which adds more cabin space. But it's a really nice roomy feeling cabin inside of here. Now coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster, it's a pretty traditional looking setup for Mercedes. On the left you have your speedometer and then your fuel gauge. On the right we also do have your coolant temperature as well as your tachometer. In the center right there, that's your driver information center. It's controlled by this button right here. And it's a touch sensitive button too. So basically when you wanna swipe between the menus, you actually have to go like this. Pretty cool, but a little gimmicky. Rather um, have a traditional kind of button. Um, you have your eco display. And then you have your trip information, digital speedometer. All that good stuff, and then it gives you your fuel range and your consumption. Then you have your driver assistance too. Your service. Gives you your tire pressure. Shows you your service and then your messages too. Then you have your navigation, shows you your direction of travel, turn by turn directions too. Then your radio, what radio station is playing. Because you know, you're so busy, you're trying to be responsible, trying to get your job done. Turn that off. <laughs> and then you also do have your media. If you do have a media source playing. Then you have your phone. If you have a telephone connected, you can connect via Bluetooth. Overall, I love this little driver information display, and the graphics and the rendering are pretty good. However, like I said, I rather prefer a traditional kind of button instead of this touch-sensitive one. Now, you can also go for a full-on display for the gauges in the instrument cluster. However, our E-Class doesn't have that here. Now, let's get to the infotainment system and the main head unit. This is the command interface from Mercedes, and it's been slightly revised for the new E-Class here. This is a little different from what you'll find on some of their other models like the C-Class and the GLE and all that good stuff. However, I really like the updates that they did make to it, especially on the home screen. Um, it's much more simplified and easier to use this time around, more intuitive. And it's the command interface is all controlled by this dial right here and this touchpad. And it's a 12.3 inch screen here, fairly large screen. And you can also swipe between the menus like this, which is pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Coming to navigation, this is your navigation system here. Really love the graphics and the rendering behind this nav here. And you also do have your digital clock that displays up in the upper left hand corner. And we do have live traffic and it shows your points of interest. You can enter in your destination by voice or by your points of interest and your geo coordinates too. And you can go through previous destinations if you would like. Then you have your map menu. You can switch between a 3D, 2D mode, and then you can zoom in and out as well. And then you also do have driving recommendation, you can change the route, you, have, you can report a hazard, and you can go to your current position. You have your options right here, which shows your map content, announcements, text information, live traffic, subscription info. Overall, really love this nav system from Mercedes. They have the, one of the best nav systems in the business. And it kind of looks like Google Earth, which is pretty cool. Let's go back to the home screen. Then you have your radio. And of course you have all the typical stuff uh, HD radio, AM, FM, and XM satellite radio here. You can change the wave band, you can set your presets, you also do have internet radio, tune in. Then you have your sound options, of course, all that good stuff. And right over here you have your media. Of course you have all of your different media sources, which include Bluetooth streaming audio, your USB ports, SD card slot, all that good stuff change the sound on that too. I love how 
at all times the climate control um, it also display up on here too at what fan speed and what temperature you're at and what zones you're at too which is pretty nice then you also do have your phone you can hook up your Bluetooth phone have all of your contacts start on here all that good stuff Then you have your Mercedes Connect, Mercedes-Benz apps, and then you have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that typical stuff. Then you have your internet web browser. And your vehicle settings, coming to seats, this is where you could change the massage function, and it does have heat as well. Many different modes for your massage, pretty cool. Then you have your dynamic seat. You have your level one and your level two. You can change the lumbar support from here, side bolsters, all that good stuff. Pretty cool. Then you have your climate control. You have your air freshener, which the Mercedes S Class was actually the first vehicle to include um, a cabin air fragrance system. But as you can see, it's right there. And just insert your little Mercedes air fragrance into that little thing right there. And then it also it will always keep your vehicle smelling fresh, which is pretty nice. Then you have your dynamic select, which is for your different driver selectable modes. You can change your different driver selectable modes um, from right here. You have your sport mode, sports plus mode, comfort mode, eco mode, and then your individual. Sports mode is, of course, going to change the throttle response and the steering. And then you have your comfort, which is for your everyday use, and then your eco um, is if you want to save a little bit of fuel there. And it shows you your vehicle data. And then your engine data. Shows you the horsepower and the battery voltage and the oil temperature. Then you have your assistance for your driver assistance, like the blind spot att assist, attention assist, active brake assist, and your parking pilot. Then you have your fuel consumption, gives you a little bar graph. Light settings. Your ambient light settings, you could change the brightness if you want it in the front or the rear or the entire vehicle. You could change the color. And you have more options this time around. Lots of different colors that you could choose from. More colors in the S-Class. <laughs> then you have your locator lighting, interior light delay switch off. And vehicle settings like the belt adjustment, acoustic lock, automatic mirror folding, you can change all that stuff, trunk lid restriction, easy entry exit. And then you have your system settings for the command interface. You could change the display like the brightness, all that typical stuff, the input, um, audio, connectivity, command touch, your time and date language, your units and kilometers or miles per hour, personalization, software updates, system backup and your system information and you can reset it. Now coming to your climate controls, you have your fan speeds right here and your different zones, temperatures and I love the high quality feeling of the buttons here. And then you have your recycling too. And you can also access many of the menus from right here with these little buttons you don't have to do it by the screen right here and then you also have an analog clock this is where you also find your main controller for the command interface and it's controlled by this dial right here and then you also do have this touchpad too and right here is where you'll find your automatic start stop system so when the vehicle comes to a complete stop the engine will actually shut off to save a little bit of fuel it's one reason why this vehicle has pretty good fuel efficiency numbers you also do have the parking pilot system which I explained earlier in the video you have your parking sensors off button and then you have your
dynamic select, which is for your different um, driver selectable modes. And then we have your power rear sunshade. Now the E-Class has never really been a vehicle that's particularly sporty to drive, and this is really no exception here. Now it does offer some kind of driver engagement, and it is a little bit better than the last generation. However, if you're looking for a mid-size luxury sedan that's engaging to drive, I suggest checking out the Cadillac CTS or the Audi A6. Now the E-Class provides a very smooth and a very comfortable ride quality. Um, it soaks up bro bumps pretty well I have to say it's very subdued it's also really quiet inside of here especially at highway speeds the 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder also provides a good amount of power for the vehicle there's no need for more power however in the future for the E-Class there is going to be more powerful powertrains that will be available and then the fuel efficiency is also really good for the E-Class so if you're looking for a very smooth and a comfortable ride quality as well as decent fuel efficiency then the E-Class will certainly satisfy it's a vehicle that's pretty easy to live with and it just is a very comfortable type of luxury sedan not a luxury sedan that really wants to be tossed around corners all right and I'm going to go ahead and shut down the E-Class. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Now, one thing I'm not a huge fan about with this interior of our particular E-Class is this high gloss black interior trim, which is really prone to a lot of fingerprints and scratches. I would certainly get a uh, wood trim over this instead of this high gloss black trim here. You have your powered trunk lid. Decent amount of trunk space in the E-Class, not too shabby. And you have your Mercedes first aid kit. And if you want to fold the rear seats down, just pull on these levers right here. And they do fold down 60-40 split. Really love the power trunk lid, very convenient. So you don't have to put any fingerprints on your car. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear of the vehicle, of course. Now sitting back here, it is a little tight and it will be a little tight for taller passengers, but there's a decent amount of room back here. You have a decent amount of legroom. Headroom isn't too shabby, but the seats, oh boy, the seats are very comfortable back here. You do have dual map pockets and rear air vents, as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Then you have your rear center armrest with a storage compartment and cup holders. And you also do have rear adjustable headrests. Overall, it's a pretty comfortable experience. All right. So with its classy exterior styling, its cutting edge safety technologies and luxury features and its impressive interior design, the 2017 Mercedes-Benz E-Class is certainly the best mid-size luxury sedan that you can buy for your money. However, if you are looking for a mid-size luxury sedan that's a little bit more engaging to drive, then you may want to check elsewhere. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.